Hi, so today we're going to talk about building multiplication facts, or taking one number and figuring out all of its multiplication facts from 1 to 12 in an efficient way. So let's say we're starting with a number like 8. We'll start with its times 1, which is pretty straightforward because 1, 8 is 8, and its times 10, which will be 80 because 8 tens is 80. So the first thing I'll do is I'll get my times 5 fact. And since 5 is half of 10, my times 5 is half of my times 10. So half of 80 is 40. The next thing I do is I use my doubles and I start figuring out some of these other facts. So the first one would be your times 2 is just the number doubled. So 8 doubled is 16. Now the next one, your times 4 is actually your times 2 doubled. And 16 doubled is 32. And then the last one for these, and this one's not as common, is your times 4 doubled is your times 8. So 32 doubled is 64. So 8 times 8 is 64. Now the rest of the table, I fill in using addition and subtraction, kind of using these checkpoints to go up and down. So to get my times 3, so 8 times 3, I'll do 16 plus 8, which will be 24. To get my times 6, I'll start at times 5 and go up 8 for 48. To get my times 7, I'll go up from my times 6, 48 plus 8, because we're going from 6 eighths to 7 eighths, will be 56. And then to get my times 9, I'll typically start at my times 10 and work down and take 8 away from my times 10 to get 72. Now, if we want to go above my times 10 to like times 11 times 12, well, this is 10 eighths, so 11 eighths will be 88, and 12 eighths will be one more 8 than 88, so it'll be 96. Great work! The convenient part about this is we can use all of these strategies on larger numbers. So if I'm going to work with 33, I'll start with my times 1 and my times 10, so 33 and 330. My times 5 will be smack dab in the middle, and it will be half of 330, which half of 300 is 150, half of... Um, half of 30 is 15. If I put 150 and 15 together, I'll get 165. From there, I'll start doing some doubles facts. So my times 2 will be 66, because 33 doubled is that. And my times 4 will be 66 doubled, which will be 132. And then I can even go further than that, and my times 8 will be this doubled, which will be 264. So using just doubling and taking half, I'm able to fill out a good amount of this table. So the rest, I'll use addition. To get my times 3, I'll start at, well, 2 33s is 66, so one more will be 99. To get my times 6, well, 5 33s is 165, so 6 33s will be 198. Uh, to get my times 7, I'll add 198 plus 33. And the nice thing is, 198 is really close to 200, so if I take 2 away from this 33 and add that to this, I'll get 200, and I'll get 231, because 31 is 2 less than 33. And then for the top of the table, we'll do 330 minus 33, which will be 297, because I took 30 away and then 3 more. And then to go up from my times 10 to get my times 11, I just add one more 33 to get that and then for times 12 I just add another 33 for 396. This strategy can be used again and again for different problems especially let's say we're dividing something by 33 it's really nice to be able to create this whole table efficiently and easily. Cool. Very nice.